Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and this video is over the ratio tables practice problems. In your notes packet, you'll find that there are guided practice problems and also independent practice problems. So we're going to go ahead and work through all of the practice problems. We're going to begin with our guided practice. Frederick earns $8 an hour tutoring. How much does he earn after tutoring for four hours? Okay, you'll note that our table is an empty table. That means that we need to set up our labels and put in our given rate or ratio and then solve for our unknown. Okay, so first things, labels. What are we comparing here? Remember, ratios are comparisons. We're comparing how much he earns to the number of hours that he works. So you could put earns or earnings or you could put a dollar sign and then the number of hours. And we're given that he earns $8 for four hours. I'm sorry, $8 for one hour. That is actually our unit rate, isn't it? So I'm gonna put it right here, $8 for one hour. We wanna know how much will he earn after four hours. So we wanna change this one into four and we're looking for how much he will earn. There are a couple of different ways that you could do this. I'm going to go show two different ways. The first way is just to list your multiples. Use this as a table of multiples. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And we can stop at four because that's how many hours we're looking for. Then we'll do our list of multiples for eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32. And we can stop and our answer would be $32 for four hours. Okay, that's one way. To me, there's an easier way of doing this, and that would be to use the skill factor. I know he earns $8 for one hour. I want to know how much does he earn for four hours. So I could use the skill factor of multiplying by four, do the same thing to the eight, multiply eight times four, and it gives us the $32 for four hours. Either way, whatever you're comfortable with, hopefully you'll get in the habit or get comfortable with using skill factor because this is really the best way to go. Um, note that you can also go in the table you can go up and down you can go from 1 to 8 how do you go from 1 to 8 you multiply by 8 so multiply 4 by 8 use the same scale factor and 4 times 8 is 32 so it doesn't have to be a scale factor going just horizontally it could also be a scale factor going vertically okay example 2 a spider traveled 20 feet in 12 minutes. At this rate, how far could it travel in three minutes? All right, so what are we comparing here? Feet and minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and write our labels, feet, minutes. And it doesn't really matter where you put them in the table. I would always like to leave room on either side. So if I'm increasing, I can go to the right. If I'm decreasing, I can go to the left. So I'm gonna do 20 feet in 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go 20 feet, 12 minutes. This is the rate that I know. This is the given rate. And I wanna change this. I wanna change it to three minutes. So I'm changing 12 minutes to three. And I need to find out how many feet. Okay, so here we go. You could divide by two, divide by two and keep going until you get to three minutes. Or you could use a scale factor and say, hey, what do I do to 12 to get a three? What could I multiply it by or divide it by? In this case, divide it by four. Can you also divide the 20 by four? Yes, you can. And when you do, you get five feet. So at this rate, how far could it travel in three minutes? So five feet in three minutes. That would be your answer. So what I was saying earlier was that you could divide it by two and it would give you 10 feet in six minutes, divided by two again, you would get three minutes and five feet, and this three minutes is what you're looking for, and it's the five feet. So again, there's no one correct way of doing this. Okay, so now you're ready for your independent practice. You'll see that there are four problems, numbers three through six. You're gonna go ahead and pause the video and solve these problems on your in your notes. You can do one at a time, come back and check it. You could solve all four, then come back and check all four at the same time, however you wish to do it. But please make sure that you do check your answers. 
Okay, go ahead and get started. Okay, problem number three. Yes, there was a typo for number three. It should be 10 skeins of yarn, not yard. 10 skeins of yarn will make four scarves. How many scarves can be made with 25 skeins of yarn? Okay, for your answer, did you get 10 scarves? If you did, great job. Move on to the next problem. If not, go ahead and take a look at the work shown and see if you can find your mistake. Once you find your mistake, go on to problem number four. If you still don't know what you did wrong, ask your teacher. Problem number four, Jackie bought four packs of burgers and paid a total of $16. How much more would it cost her to buy another three packs? Go ahead and pause your video and solve. Come back and check your answer. Okay, did you get $28? If you did, great job. Move on to number five. If not, take a look at the work shown. See if you can find your mistake. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. Problem number five. Before vacation, Sophie exchanged 300 American dollars for 378 New Zealand dollars. How many New Zealand dollars will she get for 50 American dollars? So you want to go ahead and set up your ratio table, pause the video, solve, come back and check. Did you get 63 New Zealand dollars? If you did, very nice job. If not, go ahead and pause the video, take a look at the work shown, and see if you can find your mistake. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. And our last example, a child's height measures 105 centimeters. If 25 centimeters is about equal to 10 inches, what is her height in inches? So go ahead and pause the video, set up your ratio table, solve, come back and check your answer. Did you get 42 inches? If you did, awesome. If not, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can find your mistake. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. And that's all the practice for ratio tables. Nice job, Bobcats.